Hurricane Milton was churning in the Atlantic, growing stronger with each passing hour. Meteorologists tracked its every move, predicting its potential landfall with a mix of awe and dread. Floridians on the coast were preparing for the worst, boarding up windows, securing loose objects. The air was thick with tension as families worked together to protect their homes. Evacuation orders were in place and highways were clogged with cars as people fled inland. Families packed their most precious belongings, unsure of what they would return to. It was a scene familiar to many who lived through hurricane season. The eerie calm before the storm, the deserted streets, the sense of community as neighbors helped each other prepare. What no one expected were the tornadoes, the sudden violent twisters that seemed to come out of nowhere. These weren't the typical small isolated twisters sometimes spawned by hurricanes. These were massive destructive forces of nature. These were large, powerful and deadly. They carved paths of destruction through towns and neighborhoods. They ripped through communities without warning, leaving devastation in their wake. Families huddled in their homes, believing they were safe from the hurricane's wrath, were suddenly facing a new and terrifying threat. The sound of the wind was like a freight train and the air was filled with flying debris. The storm's path was unpredictable. Meteorologists struggled to keep up with the rapidly changing conditions. One minute the skies were calm, the next chaos erupted. The tranquil suburban neighborhoods were transformed into scenes of panic and destruction. The next the air was filled with debris, the roar of the wind deafening. It was a nightmare come to life. For many, there was simply no time to react. The tornado struck with such ferocity that even the best laid plans were rendered useless. This was the scene that greeted Shane Ostrander and Nicole Gaza a young couple living in a mobile home park directly in the path of one of these unexpected tornadoes. Their lives were forever changed in an instant as they faced the aftermath of nature's fury. Shane and Nicole had done everything right. They had followed every guideline and recommendation to the letter. They had secured their belongings, boarded up their windows with sturdy plywood and stocked up on supplies, ensuring they had enough food, water and essentials to last for days. They felt prepared for Hurricane Milton, confident that they had done everything possible to protect their home and family. They were ready for the wind and the rain, the howling gusts and the torrential downpour. But they weren't ready for what came next. They weren't ready for a tornado. The first sign of danger was the deafening roar that seemed to come out of nowhere, a sound unlike anything they had ever heard before. Then the ground began to shake violently, as if the earth itself was trembling in fear. Shane and I looked at each other, fear etched on our faces. We knew this wasn't just a hurricane anymore. This wasn't the hurricane we were expecting. This was something far more terrifying and unpredictable. Before they could even react, the tornado hit with full force, its funnel cloud descending rapidly. The walls of their mobile home groaned and twisted under the force of the wind. Debris flew everywhere, smashing into anything in its path. The air was filled with a deafening roar, a cacophony of destruction that drowned out all other sounds. Shane and Nicole huddled together, terrified, as their world was ripped apart around them. They clung to each other, hoping to survive the storm's fury. The aftermath of the tornadoes was a scene of utter devastation. The once vibrant neighborhood now lay in ruins, a stark reminder of nature's unforgiving power. Homes were reduced to rubble, their foundations shattered and walls crumbled. Families who once found comfort and security within these walls were now left homeless, their lives turned upside down. Cars were tossed around like toys, landing in places they were never meant to be. Vehicles that once symbolized freedom and mobility were now twisted and broken, scattered across the landscape. Trees, once majestic and tall, were uprooted or snapped in half. These natural giants, which had stood for decades, were now lying on the ground, their roots exposed and branches broken. The air was thick with the smell of splintered wood, wet earth and the faint scent of gas. The debris was everywhere, a chaotic mix of personal belongings, building materials and nature's remnants. The human cost of the storm was the most heartbreaking. Families were torn apart, lives were lost. The grief was palpable as people mourned the loss of loved ones and the destruction of their homes. The community, already reeling from the impact of the hurricane, was now facing a new and even more devastating blow. The resilience of the people was being tested like never before. The stories of loss were everywhere. Each person had a tale of survival, of bravery and of heartache. 
These stories were shared in hushed tones as people tried to make sense of the chaos. A family of four huddled in their bathroom only to have the roof ripped off above them. Their safe haven was shattered in an instant, leaving them exposed to the fury of the storm. An elderly woman, unable to evacuate, trapped in her home as the storm raged around her. Her fear and helplessness were a stark contrast to the once peaceful life she had known. Even amidst the devastation, the spirit of humanity shone through. Neighbours helped neighbours. Strangers reached out to offer comfort and support. First responders worked tirelessly to search for survivors and provide aid to those in need. Search and rescue teams, some from neighboring states, arrived to help locate missing persons and pull survivors from the wreckage. Volunteers set up makeshift shelters and distribution centers, providing food, water and clothing to those who had lost everything. The community, so recently focused on preparing for the hurricane, now came together to support one another in the face of this new and unexpected disaster. There was a shared sense of grief, but also a powerful sense of resilience.